The number one and number two ranked scoring offenses in the NBA clash for the third time when the Indiana Pacers visit the Milwaukee Bucks on Wednesday night. And I'm here to break it down for you guys from a sports betting perspective. Give you guys my pick and my prediction in the game. This is Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. I also have a promo code to tell you guys about at the end of the video. But for now, if you guys could hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and let us know in the comment section who do you guys like in this game. With player props nowadays, there's so many different angles you could take. So let us know who you guys like. We love to hear it. Looking at the Wager Talk Live odd screen, Bucks, six and a half point home favorites. Total sitting at 259. Totals through the roof in this one. They've already played twice, like we mentioned. Pacers prevailed in both head to head meetings 126 124 at home and 128-119 in Milwaukee. Not only are these the top two scoring offenses, they're number one and number five in pace of play, and they allow the second and seventh most points per game. So we're not seeing a lot of defense on either side, tons of scoring. And this big number, though, they haven't reached it yet this season. They've, they've maxed out at 250 in the two head-to-head -head games. And anytime I see a big total like this, I'm looking the other way. I mean, it's going to take everything to go right for them to hit 260 tonight. That's just a huge number. So I lean towards the under in this one. However, I'm going to go to a player prop. Malik Beasley has went under three and a half three pointers in both head to head games against the Pacers so far this season. Fallen short in both games, and the Pacers actually allowed the least three pointers per game, less than 10 per game. And more importantly, they allowed the least uh, corner three pointers per game, which that's where Beasley. That's where he really feasts. He takes a ton of shots from the corner, so they shut that down as well. And he hasn't hit the number yet this year. Unfortunately, the juice has moved up to negative 165 in this one, But so we're going to have to pivot to something else. But I have a perfect way you can play Beasley tonight without having to use the, the um, such a juicy play like that. Guys, use the code GIFT25. Get $25 off a seven-day pass. It's a good deal, and uh, you can get 7-day all-access pass on Sports Memo right now on my page for $52. But that's available for all the cappers, Wager Talk, Sports Memo. Use the code GIFT25, G-I-F-T, 25, you get $25 off any 7-day pass. You can use that for the rest of the week. I'll have an NBA play up tonight. I'm on an 8-2 run. Also, my first bowl play will be up, and I'm 10-3 on the college football season. So check those out over at SportsMemo.com and use that code GIFT25. Guys, uh, Beasley has not scored 14 points or more without hitting four three-pointers yet this season. So let's pivot to his under 13.5 points at negative 130. You could use the three-pointers as a parlay piece with it being so juicy. But like I said, it, it's virtually the same play. He's not getting 14 points unless he hits four plus three-pointers. That's the only route that he's done this season so far. So let's go under 13.5 points on Malik Beasley as the official play leaning under 259 for the total on the game. Let me know who you guys like in the comment section. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next video. Have a great day and good luck tonight.